Here's how to add a timer in CapCut. Now, if you wanted a stopwatch or a timer in your video, I'll show you how to do that. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we need to do is make sure that you have a timer that you can add to a video. A great option is Pixabay. So just go to pixabay.com here. And then at the very top, just search for timer under videos. And I'm going to scroll down because there's a great timer here. Let's choose this one. So I can go in here and you can see as it plays, it starts at zero and it goes up. I'm going to just tap on download here, and this is fine. I'll just tap download. Now, keep in mind, this will download it to my phone. I'm going to hit download here, and I need to bring it into the Photos app. So I'm going to go over and go to the app library and type in files. Tap on my iPhone and downloads, and there you can see is that video. I'm just going to bring in this into my photo gallery so I can then bring it into CapCut. So let's just hit share and save video. Now I've saved it into there and now I can go into CapCut and create this. Let's open up CapCut, tap new project. And first I'm gonna bring in the original video. Let's say this is the video that I wanted to add and then I wanna overlay a timer on top of it. Now what you're gonna do is tap on overlay at the very bottom. Make sure that the video is not selected and tap overlay and add overlay. And now on here, we're just gonna go through and select this timer video and hit add. Now you can see it goes through and basically has a timer. If you want to end it at the very end of this clip, just tap on the video and hit split, tap on the second portion and hit delete. So now we have a timer, but let's choose it and let's pinch it to make it a bit smaller and down at the bottom left. And you can also choose to remove the background of that timer if you want. So once it's selected, you can swipe over at the very bottom and you're going to find remove BG or remove background. Tap on that and let's just hit auto remove. You can see that didn't really work very well. Let's just choose custom remove instead. And you can see I can choose a bunch of different options in terms of stroke. I can choose to go back here, I can choose quick race or brush, or I can just choose a specific part of that video, that little clip that I wanted to. Let's just choose chroma key would be a good option. So go back to chroma key. Let's undo that auto remove, tap chroma key. And you can see I can choose the black color here to remove it. And then just like that, I have added that timer on here, use that chroma key to remove the background and you're good to go.